Hello my lovely Aries, I hope whenever you're watching this you're having a great day today. My name is Rachel and welcome to your weekly tarot card reading. This is a reading for the 30th of January to the 5th of February, so please take what resonates. If it doesn't resonate, then please leave it where it is. Okay, Angel Spirit guys, what's the message for Aries this week please? What's the message for Aries this week please? Okay. Okay, what have we got here? Notice the signs. Yes, the signs you've been receiving are heaven sent. We drop feathers, coins and other signs upon your path to remind you that you're loved and never alone. So you might have been seeing the signs, you might have been seeing feathers, you might have been seeing coins on the floor, um, you might have seen uh, numbers like 111, 222, things like that. Uh, you may have seen some robins around as well, I'm getting that vibe too um and you also may have been hearing things on the radio or seeing things on the tv that that get your attention that like oh you had to pay attention to it but you're not quite sure why it's just a sign from your angels from your guides um telling you that they're there telling you that they're guiding you telling you that they're there they love you very much and they want to help you but you need to ask them for help so if you need guidance then ask your angels just like you're having a conversation on the phone with a friend but you need to ask them once you do they'll be able to help you and guide you in the right direction they'll put things in your path that will help you make decisions that you need to make or uh, show you the direction you need to go but they're saying that they are there and they are ready to help they are love you very much and the signs that you are seeing uh, for some of you, I feel that you may have had recently had someone pass and you may be seeing these signs. And if you're seeing them, it's just your your person, the person that has passed away is letting you know that they're OK. And that's not for all of you, but that's a, an energy I'm getting through is that someone is just saying that even though I pass and even though it's sad, I'm OK and everything's going to be absolutely fine. So if that resonates with you, I'm sending lots of love to you, uh, sending big virtual hugs to you. And I'm so sorry for your loss um, at this time and take your time to grieve in the way that is best for you. There's no right or wrong way to grieve. OK, so let's get into the tarot. They're already flying out. Um, so we have the Queen of Pentacles here. Okay, uh, the King of Wands. Um, one more card, please. Have one more card, please. Okay, okay, thank you. And the Strength card. Okay, so with the Queen of Pentacles here, this is showing that you you kind of starting to know the direction you want to go and you're a very hard worker, you're a provider, um, and that doesn't necessarily mean always financially, but like you're a provider of the home, you're a provider as a mother, a father, um, you, you just take care of others, you might be a volunteer. Uh, the Pentacles is all about wealth and money, so this could be something to do with your work. Um, but wealth is a, a big range of things. Her health is wealth and all of those kind of things as well. But you, you're very much a hard worker. You're very much um, a provider. You're very much uh, starting to find the direction you want to go in and you're starting to find peace with that, knowing that you've got the clarity where you want to, where, where you want to go. And I feel with this energy as well, that even if you don't have that clarity, it's coming. Keep working hard, keep focusing on where you want to go. Uh, you know you. know you. I feel this is what's going to be happening. You know you. You know what's going to happen. You know which direction you want to go in. And you're just going to take some time out to breathe and just keep moving forward. You don't let other people kind of come in at you. You don't let other people um, try and sway you of any way. You're very focused on the direction you want to go in and you're just kind of doing your own thing and going, doing what you want. So if you've got people coming into your life trying to persuade you to do something else, trying to tell you that you should be doing this or you shouldn't be doing that, you're just like, yeah, whatever. Yeah, that's your opinion. I'm just going to still focus on me. Because then you've got the King of Wands. The King of Wands is a very strong uh, masculine energy, very much is the leader of their life. And I feel with the Queen of Pentacles and the King of Wands, this is where you're at. This is where you're getting to. You're starting to lead your own life. This is a very business-like and um, 
an entrepreneur card as well. So if you're starting a business or you want to up level your career, this is a really good card uh, to show that you are heading in the right direction. But the main energy I've got here is that you are the leader of, the, of your life. You are in control of your life. Which direction do you want to go in? Leave the lions behind or to walk with the lions, I should say. Walk with the lions, be the leader of the pack and leave, every, leave all the sheep and the chickens behind you that want to just gossip and talk about everything else. You know the direction, you're a hard worker. You thrive on work, you thrive on helping others, you thrive on bettering yourself and bettering other people. And the King of Wands is saying, keep doing that, be the leader of the pack, be the leader of your own life, walk with the lions, not with the sheep. And you know, then you're gonna be extremely successful. With both these cards here, I feel that you are gonna be very successful um, in your life. Now, this doesn't necessarily have to mean work. This could mean a relationship. It could mean a, a project you're doing. It could mean um, something that you took on, like a 5K run or, or anything like that. But you need to take the lead of something. You need to take the lead of your life. You can't let other people keep telling you what you can and cannot do. It's about you moving forward with things. Because you've also got the strength card here. And the strength card is about your inner strength. It's working with your inner strength. Because you can see she's half lion and half sheep. Okay, you've got to work from the inside and, and work on that inner strength. I feel that you've gone through some stuff in your life where you had to build your inner strength up. You had to become resilient. You had to kind of take the lead. And sometimes that could be exhausting and people can see you're exhausted. So we're jumping on it. Now they're all healed and they're all better. They're going to jump on your vulnerability. And this is where you've got to use your inner strength and really go within and say, I can do the things that I want to do. And only because I'm exhausted does not mean that I'm weak. It just means I need to rest. But I'm still a lion. I'm still a lioness. I'm still going to be moving towards the things that I want to do. I just need to rest for a bit. Also, I feel that the card here is asking you to um, find peace. So it could be that people might be coming at you with lots of different things. You could be in a lot of arguments with people, could be a loved one, could be a work colleague, whatever it may be. And sometimes, even though it's the hardest thing to do because we want to defend ourselves and we want to um, put our point of view across, sometimes the best thing to do is to walk away. Is say, do you know what? You have your opinion, I'll have my opinion and we'll just leave it there. And that takes a lot of strength to do, especially when you feel that you are in the right or you know you're in the right or you know what they're saying is a bunch of lies, sometimes the best thing to do, and it takes a lot of strength and a lot of courage, is to walk away from something and just focus on your own life. And on the bottom of the deck, we do have the eight of wands. So things are going to be moving in your life pretty quickly. Something's going to happen and things are going to change in your life and it's going to happen fast. You've been working on a business, you've been working on uh, a career, you've been trying to find love, whatever it is that you've been trying to do, if things are going to move quite quickly for you. There's going to be um, a switch. There's going to be one switch. Maybe when you walk away from a negative situation, when you think, do you know what, I can't argue with you anymore, I can't keep going round in circles over this because we're just going to keep putting our own point of views across. I'm just going to walk away from the situation. You're leaving a negative situation behind, which gives you room to put a more of a positive situation into your life. Um, and then there, that is when something is going to come into your life that's going to change things that is going to happen quite quickly. Okay, so... Let's clarify the cards on the table. So can we clarify the Queen of Pentacles, please? Can we clarify the Queen of Pentacles, please? Oh, okay. One more shuffle. Okay, so we've got the Hermit card here. So the Queen of Pentacles and the Hermit card. And then we've got the Ace of Wands and we've got the Justice card as well. Okay, so the Queen of Pentacles, we do have the Hermit card. So this is saying that you're a hard worker, you know the direction you want to go. And if you don't know the direction you want to go, and you are going to get that clarity soon. And that will come with the Hermit. The Hermit card is about you going within and taking some time out, do some soul searching, speaking to your angels, your spiritual guides, 
doing some meditation, whatever it is that's necessary for you to be able to find that five minutes of peace to be able to get the answers that you want. And that comes with you going within. So you might be like, I'm a hard worker, I'm researching, I'm, resor I'm using all my resources, but nothing's coming into my fruition. I I'm just going to keep working hard because I need to provide, I need to do this, I need to do that. Very strong willed uh, feminine energy. Um, but this is saying that the answers that you're looking for, the things that you want to know are actually within you, but you're so looking on the outside of things that you're not actually seeing them because they're not on the outside world, they're on the inside. So doing some soul searching will give you the answers that you are looking for. Okay. Right, with the King of Wands, you have the Ace of Wands. So again, you're the leader of the pack. Don't just be the leader of your life, be the leader of the pack. So anyone that's kind of wants to be in your life, they need to know that you can be in my life, but I am I control my life. And that doesn't mean that I'm not empathetic. It doesn't mean that I don't um, have courtesy and that I don't want to do things with you or, or do, you know, I'm not going to be a bitch about it. But it's just that I, I, I don't let anybody control my life. I, I do the things, if I want to do something that's going to better myself, then I will do it. Okay, so I feel that you've allowed so many people control you and sway you and put you in directions down your path that you don't want to go in. And I feel that finally you need to just take that power back. You need to take that control back. Um, and the Ace of Wands is showing here, once you take control of your life and you go in the direction you want to go in and you don't listen to the uh, your own negative and scarcity mindset, but also the outer critics of people telling you what you should and shouldn't do, there's going to be something new coming into your life. You're going to either be offered, so offered something by somebody in a physical realm or in the spiritual realm, Somebody there's going to be an offer coming in for you. There's going to be things happening in your life that you're going to be like, that is exactly what I want to do. And because you're in control of your life, because you know which direction you want to go in, you just go for it. There's no hesitation. You know it's right. You know it fits into your life. You know it's something that you want to do and you just go for it. You move forward with it. You follow that intuition. You follow that path because you know inside it's right. And that all becomes... Uh, that all becomes a reality because you stop allowing people to tell you what you should and shouldn't do and you take back your power and you take back the control of your life in what it is that you want to do or who you want to be with rather than allow others to tell you what you should and shouldn't be doing. And then you've got the strength card with the justice card. So there is going to be justice. So if you've gone through, say, a court battle or anything like that, there's going to be justice and it's going to be a very positive outcome for you. And you've had to use a lot of your inner strength. You really had to tune into yourself to get through this time. Um, if you're not in a court battle, I feel that something that was wrong, somebody that uh, maybe an argument you've been having or um, an issue you've been having with someone that you know was wrong, but for some reason everyone looks at them as they're the right one and you're the wrong one, which is where conflict is coming in, which is why you're allowing people to come into your, uh, tell you what you should and shouldn't be doing, which is an area which would really annoy you anyway, because you're very fireball, you're very powerful, you don't really, don't usually allow people to walk all over you. You're going to get justice. This situation, the truth is going to come out. The truth is going to be revealed. And everybody's going to see what, the reality of it really is but by the time that happens you've already made peace of it and you've walked away and you've gone on to better things and you started living your life because you realize that by arguing with somebody um that's not going to change their mind is literally a waste of your energy a waste of your time and wasting your life away so by the time the truth is revealed you've already moved past it but the justice alone that the truth has been out so everyone can see what the truth really is is going to come out and that gives you a little bit of a sense of satisfaction and people are like oh you can't have satisfaction it's like how oh, yeah you can if someone's did something wrong and blaming you for something that you haven't done or making you look like the fool and then they get then you get justice and you get shown, they get, they get shown, they have to show their, their true colours. Why not be a little bit like, well, you know, karma at its best. 
You don't need to do anything, let the universe do it. Okay, Princess of Swords is on the bottom of the deck. So there's going to be some inspiration. There's going to be some ideas that you're going to be following. This is what the Ace of Wands is. There's going to be ideas and inspirations for you to follow that's going to uh, push you in a different direction. And the, maybe the reason you're not seeing that right now is because of this conflict that you might be having here. I feel there's a conflict here. You're a very hard worker. Uh, you very much know the direction you want to go in in your life, but there's a situation that's kind of stopping it. You need to do some soul searching to be able to move past this, to be able to find the answers that's best for you, not for others, for you. The King of Wands is you need to start leading your own life. You can't keep allowing others to tell you or show you what you should and shouldn't be doing. You're the leader of your own life. Be the leader of your own pack and focus on the direction you want to go in when you take control back when you take power back of your life you're going to be offered something from the universe and this could be simply a inspiration or an idea that you know is right and that you follow it and to do that you need to make peace with something that isn't quite going your way that maybe is causing a lot of conflict and walk away from something because peace is so much better and it takes a lot of strength to do um is much better than than staying somewhere in a negative situation or negative mindset because the truth will out itself might not be today might not be tomorrow but the truth will out itself and the justice will be served but by that time you've moved away because things will start happening quite quickly for you when you move away from a situation that isn't serving you anymore and even though we don't have the five of wands here it's the energy that i am picking up Okay, so let's get an animal spirit card for you. So if you like today's reading, then do hit that like and subscribe. It really helped grow the channel and I appreciate all the love and support you've given me so far. So thank you so much. If you like a personal reading, then do check out my Etsy shop, RM Tarot. There's a link in the description box below. And there's also a link to my TikTok. So if you are on TikTok, go over there and give me a follow as well. Much appreciated. Okay, so Angel Spirit, guys, what's the a message for our lovely Aries, please? What's the message for our lovely Aries, please? Okay. Oh, I love it. Okay, you have the tiger. Accept your magnificent. Accept who you are, because you're freaking awesome. Accept you for you, because you are amazing. You know, the tiger has is orange or ginger? I don't really know. Red? Beautiful. With stripes. It's different. It's different than most animals, you know? It's I fed tigers once, I actually hand fed tigers and it was the most amazing experience and you know they've just got to accept that you are absolutely perfect and absolutely wonderful just as you are, do you make mistakes? Absolutely, but this is the things, when we make mistakes we have to learn from them, that's the whole point of making the mistake, okay, that's the whole point of it so we can learn and grow and evolve and go into better things in our life. But the tiger is magnificent and you need to know that that's who you are, Aries. Go back to who you are. Tune in. Go to the hermit. Realise who you really are. Realise how freaking awesome you are and start living your life that way. That's all I've got for you today, my lovely Aries. Thank you for spending that time. I really do appreciate it. Anything resonated, drop it in the comment box below. I hope whenever you're watching this, you're having a great day today. Enjoy the rest of your week and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye, guys.